um, I felt it was time that we you know, may possibly, and I mean, I wasn't like honed in on that, but you know, that, um, you know, a woman, you know, I just thought that somebody, you know, that was a little bit younger, a woman, um, I'd be honest, I really didn't know at that time a whole lot of the, you know, that there was already some controversy and things like that a little bit. You know, a woman, you know, I just thought that that would be somebody, you know, that was a little bit younger, a woman. Um. Without seeing the name of Mayor Tiffany Henyard, she's also the supervisor of a neighboring township and refers to herself as Super Mayor. It's her TikTok handle, too. Where the food at, because I told you, everything free. When you come to any of Tiffany Henyard's productions, it's free. You don't need anything. Guys, we out here again. Then the your doctor. 14900 Greenwood, Dalton. This is what we do. It never paid to fix the pool. The pool would have been up and running by now. It's been hot as ever outside. And the kids would have loved to just cool off and have something to do. And then also learn how to swim. I don't know why I keep telling y'all that. You know the number one thing that we don't know how to do is swim. So what we have to do is teach our kids how to swim. You stars remember, never, never, ever give up. You're going to always have people that's against you. You're going to always have people hating on you. You're going to always have people that got something to say, but ain't willing to stand in the fire. So all I can tell my people is, hey, stand 10 toes down, stay loose to the ground, because this too shall pass. At the end of the day, God got me on the assignment. And I'm going to complete that assignment. I am so family oriented. I care about the youth. The youth is everything, and y'all have to pass the baton. Because at the end of the day, you got to lead with love. When you lead with love, you will always go further in life. Because at the end of the day, that's what we need in this world, love. Oh, I know how to swim, know that. So that's why I keep pushing it, because my parents put me in swimming lessons. So I want our kids to have the same things that I had growing up in this community. Because for those that don't know, it was the in-ground swimming pool here in the I village was. of Thompson. For those that don't know the history, learn the history, and you understand why I keep fighting for certain things, which is a pool for the kids. But everybody don't got the same dreams as I have as it relates to the vision for the village of Thompson. But I want the kids to see their super mayor still standing throughout all the controversy. Their super mayor that's touchable, reachable, and you can talk to me when you see me. So that's what I try to show them. And the kids ain't did nothing but just uh, love back on me like I love on them. So I appreciate Don't you. Nobody know nothing. Here she is starting a Dalton Village board meeting dressed like the Wesley Snipes character in the movie New Jack City. Later, put her political points with the help of her own DJ. Every single resident. Pay me what you owe me. Thank you, DJ. Like, oh my God, what did I do? What? Not to mention the Tiffany Henyard calendar, which includes the super mayor's birthday, because you can't forget that. And it's hard to turn anywhere in Dalton without seeing Henyard's picture or online, where she recently commemorated 9-11 with her own photo. In videos posted by Henyard herself, we see her being driven around and surrounded by Dalton officers, which got us to wondering, why all the cops? We weren't opposed to her having the security detail. We asked how long and how often. Dalton trustee Brittany Norwood says Henyard began assembling her details shortly after being elected in 2020 using hand-picked Dalton police officers. Township taxpayers were charged more than $3,000 by a photographer who said he was paid to take pictures of Henyard on set. They also paid $561 for the photographer's airfare. At the same time, a township credit card was charged $1,100. For 13. Yet another Google. shock to Village of Dalton trustees. A letter falling on their desks dated February 14th. Representatives from Kansas State Bank threatening to repossess 13 village vehicles, saying more than $76,000 is overdue and climbing. These approved payment in May of 2023. That loan payment went that was due nine months ago is anyone's guess. Lawyers for the bank now warning the village pay up or be ready for repossession agents to take the vehicles, which includes six police cruisers. I already told the Board of Trustee that this is political retaliation. This is targeting. Her salary for the two jobs is nearly $300,000. More than the state's governor, by the way. But it's all on the taxpayer's dime. What? Sure. So my mayor position is $50,000, which was already there. And my township position is two twenty four, dollars which was already there. When I got sworn in to either seat. You make almost $300,000 between your two elected I positions. Not. I do not. I don't know where you got that number from.
We got it from her own village and township records. Put an ordinance in place that if she lost a future mayoral election, the next mayor's salary would be dropped from 200,000 bucks to 25,000. But if she wins, they will be sued for doing so. Um, but yet they still choosing to pick these people, which they said Keith Freeman gave them. So make sure y'all add him and y'all also um, to target just these individuals. Um, normally when you do layoffs or consider layoffs, you normally go, you meet with uh, management staff and you go line by line. Because our finance, uh, our finance consultant, the CPA firm, let us know that we are in dire need and layoffs need to happen. What you can see on the chart is that the unrestricted cash balance of the general fund has dropped from almost $5 million as of April of 2022, and it is now accounting for all of the checks that have yet to be sent, is now in a deficit position of over $5.5 million as of May. Of Just quick numbers, so in a two year span, we're talking about a $9 million swing or $9 million of deficit over that course of time. Would that be yes, most sir. accurate? I don't want to cause a big panic, um, but this is a starting point because we are finally starting, we are finally beginning to get information because for months and months we would indicate that we don't have financials. We haven't had you here, Trustee Belcher and us reference financials that we've started to get in review. And we got a lot of that information due to the um, investigation by former Mayor Lori Lightfoot. My family then lived in this village for well over 30 years. And the fact that I'm watching every day as this village being ran into the ground by this woman is pissing me off. All these things I take very personally, very personally indeed. And I will be damned if I allow anyone, it particularly you, ma'am, scam, destroy, run into the ground. And while you're sitting there with your thousands upon thousands of dollars, loans in jail, along with you, Ms. Hannard, and your wigs. Yeah. And the damn money's going, okay. it's going to her wig. At Dunkin' Donuts, you asked me, could you talk to me? I allowed you to talk to me. And Madam Clerk, I wanted on record today that Tiffany Henyard can never, ever, as long as she stay black, approach me and ask, can she talk to me? Because all she do is lie. And she know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you're not going to understand until they put those cuffs on you. You're not going to understand it. You don't care. But baby, they on to you. About the BMWs, the, the Range Rovers, all of that. It's like you're keeping all of that hidden from the taxpayers. And we pay for Shame to y'all stuff. Y'all black. Y'all are black. And y'all sitting up here beating and attacking on a black woman that's in power. Y'all should be shame to y'all self. Um, and then everything went sideways. Three and a half million dollars in the hole. That's the finding of an investigation into how city officials have been spending village transactions amounting to thousands of dollars without explanation and millions more owed to vendors. Big bills with little accountability. That's the headline out of South Suburban Dalton tonight, where an investigation into Mayor Tiffany Henyard's administrations revealed more examples of tax. Super Mayor, remember they said that I'm hiding on the outside. I'm always outside. I'm always reachable. That, um, you know, a woman, you know, I just thought that that would be somebody, you know, that was a little bit younger, a woman. Um, so that's kind of where I was. Um, oh, my God. What did I do? What did I do?